Commander's Log, Standard 3305.223 It's been 210 days since I left Earth. It's been months since I've seen a human being. All by myself, my faithful ship, the Ulysses. The voyage hasn't been too kind to him, which can be seen by the damage and scratch paint. Yet he serves me well. I know I can count on him. As for me, I'm already starting to feel the effects of long exposure to ship-generated artificial gravity. Somehow, human body is able to distinguish artificial gravity from real one. My physique seems to have deteriorated. My muscles have become stiff and rigid. I need to start working out or I will have to undergo a rehab when I return to an inhabited world. But before I do, I will try to find a planet with gravity comparable to Earth. Maybe this will help a little. In the last two weeks, I have covered quite a long distance, but there was little to discover. The outer rim of Scutum Centaurus arm did not have much to offer other than the standard set of planets. There were a few Earth-likes, yet nothing spectacular. Therefore, I decided to slightly alter my course and turn to the inner path of the arm, both to make some change and to get faster and closer to the bubble, as we call the human-controlled space. For dozens of jumps, I still had no luck in any new findings. And finally, my sensors detected a sterile phenomenon in range. After detailed scan, it turned out to be a proto-Lagrange cloud with some kind of glitches flickering inside. When I approached and entered it, I saw a new type of anomalies within, the P-type. This cloud was different from the one I found before, as it didn't contain so many living organisms, and there was no storm within, plus it was much older. Was the life someday here? Was it devoured by the anomalies? It also turned out that in two other systems nearby, there were two other kinds of P-type anomalies, each of them different in color, size, and effects on the ship's systems. And then, a crazy thought struck me. What if I took one of the anomalies into my cargo hold to study its behavior? Not thinking too much about it, I decided to have a go with this dangerous endeavor. At first, it was chilly. The systems went crazy. There were surges of energy all over the ship. And then, all of a sudden, they subsided. It's been already two days with alien anomaly on board, and a while ago I heard some strange sounds from the cargo hold, and it seems that Guardian Frameship Drive Booster module is slightly malfunctioning. But I'm so curious what's going to happen next. I get the feeling that this was just the beginning. Oyakso, out. Three, two, one.